What's up, everybody? Big John here, really big guy tactical, coming at you <sighs> on this Tuesday. A little bit of a rant. For those you don't know, I do. Uh, I, I sell parts. I sell parts at two different jobs. One at a very mainstream automotive place, and I sell heavy-duty truck parts as my big boy job. I got a little bit of a rant here because I worked my uh, my other job today. My mainstream automotive parts job and I've got one thing to say I know the memes and I know all the jokes and everything like that a little bit of a backstory for me uh, I attended a technical school um, I achieved my you know certificate of completion and everything like that I went through what's called a Ford accelerated credential training uh, I ended up going to a Ford dealership and becoming, you know, Ford chassis master certified, all, all of it. I uh, I really fell in love with working on the diesels, and uh, that's where I kind of excelled. Uh, when I moved back from, I lived in Buffalo. When I moved back from Buffalo, I decided that uh, since nobody was going to hire me in their shop, as it's a little bit of a liability for a bigger guy that I was going to sell parts and take my automotive knowledge and knowledge of diesels into the parts field with me. That helped me out tremendously. Um, now, I understand that there are some idiots who work at some of these automotive places. Okay? I'm fully well aware of this. However... If your sole intent is to walk into that building and then insult the employee who did not assist you in any way, shape, or form the first time and wants to do right by you, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay? I had a customer buy a CV axle. Uh... Guys who looked it up, we called. Guys who looked it up either weren't paying attention or just didn't care. Ordered him the wrong one. Came in, he picked it up, took it home, wrong one. Brings it back in today. Okay? Brings it back in today. Richard and I are both working. Says, hey, this is wrong. I drive a 2002 Audi A4 Quattro. Seems easy enough. Driver side front, automatic transmission. Simple questions. He answers them. We have one at one of our other stores, which is about a 30-minute drive. Okay. But what are we going to do to take care of this situation? Because I'm really upset. Not only did we get him the part, not only did we get him the part, we also for his fuel, being that he did live far away, and that he had to chase down his own part, gave him $15. Gas money. Completely understandable. The customer was dead set that he was driving a 2002 Audi A4 Quattro. Thought we were done with the situation. About two hours later, I get a phone call from the customer, who is now back at his house, Wrong CV shaft. Hmm. Okay. Are you standing next to the vehicle right now? Can you read me off the VIN? I have the title. I'll read the VIN. No, no, no. I want it off the vehicle. Sometimes paperwork gets a little iffy. Well, turns out the VIN on the vehicle matches the VIN on the paper. I don't care how you read it off to me. Give me the VIN now. Okay. Just to let you know, you drive a 2002 Audi A6. Turns out, I have that CV shaft in stock. The customer proceeds to come to the store, completely and utterly bad-mouthing us and demanding that not only do we return the part that he had to purchase from Auto Alaska, that uh, he get this new one for absolutely no cost. I don't know what kind of stupid you have to be. If you're unsure of your vehicle and you give one of those individuals your VIN, they can look anything up on that vehicle. 
Whatever you ask for is what you're going to get. Now, if you're going to go ahead and continue to play the blame card, you're escalating the situation. And don't be alarmed if you're asked to leave. Because we don't have to do business with you at all. Don't have to. If you're going to sit there and just cuss at us and do that, you're going to get kicked out. I'm going to process the return. You'll get your money back in two to three days, and you don't get any parts. Now you wasted time that you could have been spending putting your new part in and instead of making the situation worse. I strive and Richard strives on customer service on everything that we do. And I know that customers are, they've got a story too. And that's what we try to incorporate in handling every bad situation. It's your car breaks down, it needs a part. It's a cruddy situation because it's usually going to be expensive and time consuming. Anytime you don't, anytime you have to do anything other than put gas in it is, it's just frustrating. I understand. But taking it out on the people who are trying to make it right, absolutely unacceptable. And if you're one of those people, I feel sorry for you. Because what goes around comes around. And if you're going to live your life like that, angry and always out looking for a buck, because the world owes you everything, then uh, you'll get what's coming to you. Well, I promise that. Karma. She's evil. So that was my rant today. And uh, after I dealt with that guy, because uh, I, I was... We tried to de-escalate the situation. The guy was giving it to us. Ramped it up, ramped it up. Uh, again, we were courteous. We weren't cussing at him. We weren't doing this. But we were saying, hey, you could take your business elsewhere. Let's do this return and get you out of the store because it no longer wants you here. There was nobody else around. So we just didn't want this guy in the store anymore. And I'll tell you right now, I have not drank that much water after that I... Ooh, I wanted to smoke so bad. I just wanted to go over a quick trip, grab a package of cigarettes, and stand outside that store and just chain smoke all 20 of them. <sighs> That's willpower. I didn't do that. I wasn't going to let that guy mess up that for me. So, instead I decided to have uh, 16 servings of water so I've never downed as much water as I have in one sitting at AutoZone there I'm working on about a gallon this is the second gallon today so I'm probably not going to drink anymore because I will be literally up all night um, but <sighs> man so uh, long story short don't be an angry customer Stuff happens. Uh, you get a a-hole employee who clearly doesn't care and isn't interested. I completely understand that, too. I've had to deal with that. But uh, if I'm trying to better the situation or if they are trying to better the situation as best they can or it looks like it's a situation that they haven't dealt with at all and they're trying, give them the boat. Take a step back, deep breath. Okay, I know this wasn't your mistake, and if it was their mistake, how are we going to rectify the situation? Not in the most asshole way possible. Pardon my language. Don't do that. That's not good for anybody. That's not good for you. That's not good for them. Because the second you leave, they're just going to talk about you the whole day. And you're going to be that person. Don't You don't want to be that person. Trust me. You don't want to be that person. Um, so, yeah. Customer got the part he needed. Um, and that's all we can do. Is make sure they get the right stuff. So, that was my day-to-day. -day. There's my rant. Rant over. And I'll tell you right now, that made for a cruddy day. Made for a cruddy day. But, uh, I mean, that's, that's all I got for you today. Um, until tomorrow, where we see where our snow totals end up at. 
Tomorrow's supposed to be 30 and sunny. So hopefully it's uh, a warm 30. But uh, with that being said, I don't have anything else for you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.